about DNA evidence in a Kenosha homicide trial. Prosecutors say a man was killed nearly three years ago. His body's never been found. Our Bill Miston joins us now as the Zachariah Anderson trial ends its first week. That's right, guys, and much of the testimony today detailed the bloody crime scene found at Rosalio Gutierrez's Kenosha apartment and how the evidence collected there was used in the case. In general, what is luminol? It gives you an indication if there is blood. State Crime Lab forensic scientist Lisa Treffinger said that was used on parts of Zachariah Anderson's van. Police found it with the rear seats removed and a portion of the carpet cut out. Treffinger said a lab tech later noted the smell of bleach and the white colored stain on the carpet, but then spotted something else. Yes, it was a very a tiny speck, like a pinhead dot. A reddish brown stain on the van trim near the rear tailgate. Treffinger feared using luminol would dilute the sample, making it unusable for DNA testing, so it was collected. Did you do DNA testing? Yes. What, what person was it a match for? Uh, Rosalio Gutierrez. It appeared to be either cast off or forcible blood. Kenosha police officer Eric Widener is the senior evidence tech for the city. He collected blood evidence at Rosalio Gutierrez's apartment. What did you see there? Possible uh, blood stain evidence. Uh, on the knob itself? Correct. Prosecutor's theory is that Anderson drove to Gutierrez's apartment on May 17, 2020, killed him, and hit his body, and destroyed evidence of the crime. Gutierrez was dating Anderson's ex and mother of his children at the time. Anderson was in a relationship of his own, too. We were dating. And that woman told police the two had plans the night police believed Gutierrez was killed. So originally you said you thought he was over there? Yes, originally that's why I said. Testimony is set to resume next week. Reporting live in Kenosha, Bill Miston, Fox 6 News. All right, Bill, thank you.